What's going on, everybody? It's your brother Omar, aka Omizi, back at you with another video. Listen, I got T.I.'s son here who got into an altercation a couple weeks ago with a Waffle House employee in which he threatened to pull out a gun on him and shoot slash pistol whip him over a wrong order. Let's let's take a look at this. First of all, that he wasn't cooking my shit. Yeah, recook. I'm about to go in here and jay down. And jay down. I'm about to down. go in here and jay down. They got me fucked up. Nigga think I won't jump across that table. All right. First thing off the rip. I've never been so mad at a Waffle House or the Waffle House employees gangsters. So I, I knew, I knew I need to calm down. I've never been so mad at a Waffle House order that I immediately went on Instagram live to talk about it and tell them that I'm a jay down on them. The crazy thing about this, like in just the whole scope of this is like, we saw you grow up. We seen the diapers on you. You are not a thug. Watch this. Yo, I, and I didn't mean to stop it so quick. I think what I just saw is like telling everything that I needed to know that he's a good kid. Did he just hold the door open for somebody? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He held the door open for four people. You held the door open for four people. I counted the voices. You are not hard by any means. Everything that you're about to say is null and void. You are not, hold on, hold on. Let's go, we need, one more time. I'm running this back one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's four people! You are a polite gangster. You are a wannabe. This is it, that's insane, bro. Stay smart while I'm in this motherfucker house. Show out. I customers, I don't give a fuck about no customers. It ain't no pickle on there. Bet everything, bet everything. In that you work for is a pickle. If it ain't no pickle on there, I'll give you a thousand dollars right now. All this is over a pickle? Is he allergic to pickles? Is any, can, can somebody confirm to me that he's allergic to pickles? Cause he's doing all this over a pickle right now? This is... <sighs> and I'ma look at my shit. That'd be some spit or something on me. Boy, get the... He watching them make the food now? But what I'm saying is... They wasn't... can talk like that outside. Hey, I can talk how the fuck I want to where I, wherever I'm at. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Come back. Come back. What? On game what? Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. Yo, he has lost his mind. I was under the assumption that this was a couple weeks ago. You doing this on Mother's Day? Yo, why aren't you with your mom, bro? Even if this is Mother's Day weekend, go be with your mom. You you right. You are absolutely right. They know who you are and their mom knows who you are because you are a child of T.I. and Tiny, two famous people in Atlanta. And we saw you grow up as a baby. We know you're not hood. We know you're not a thug. We know you're not hard. We know these things. I just counted out four people. You held the door open for four people before you came in. You are a polite young man. This ain't no... I I'm not trying to throw me out there like I know you for real. I've seen you come into my job when I was working at South Lake Macy's. You are a polite young man. You are a good guy. I don't know why you're putting this persona on for Instagram Live or whatever the case may be, but that is not you. You are not about that life. You want to be a thug like your daddy was a thug. And if that's what you want to be, I guess that's what we're going to have to call you from now on. I'm outside. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. Hey, get your employees. Get your employees. And you still talking inside, though. You still talking inside though. Yeah, yeah, they, they stop Why you inside? Just talking like they like that, they ain't like that. Before I get back here, piss the whip. Piss the whip. Wait, wait till I come back in the month of late night. And then it's just you and I slap you up. Tell your mama I said happy Mother's Day. Karen in my face and shit, like what? Yo, you can't call them Karens and you the one coming in there disrespectful. That's not how Karens work. You need to get off the internet. To be honest with you, let me let me be honest with you. You look like a Sesame Street character talking. At, you know how Sesame Street characters use it. That's what you look like right now. There's no way that you think that we think that you're hard. And I know the people on your Instagram live go to the same private school that you go to. So you know that they know you're not hard. You get dressed up every day. Your tie has to be a certain way before you can enter the school. Your pants have to have a crease in them. Your shoes have to be shined. I know you do this in front of your other friends. I don't even know how you found these other friends. You don't have that grilling when you go to school. I know you don't. The most flamboyant thing about you when you go to that school is your hairstyle. Because that's not where you're from. You live in a gated community. You have lessons and tutors. You are not this guy. I don't know why you portray this act but you are not this guy um slap that his fucking mouth and they claim you're gonna pull out a gun is crazy pistol whip somebody yeah come on we outside and he's still talking inside i was outside i'm telling him to come out man what because they hey hey all right 
No song. No song. Yo, yo, Mr. Mr. King, we know that you're not hard. We know that you're soft. I don't know why you came on the internet thinking that we were going to fall for your tricks and your traps and stuff like that. You talking about you're going to pistol whip somebody. We know that that's not true. We just know that that's not true. And I don't know what's worse. What, how you handled yourself at the Waffle House or how your wannabe of a man father, how your gangster daddy responds to this situation. T.I., you don't have to come on the internet and respond to everything. Let, let's just watch this. Let's, Because this is... You know, me and his uncles... We were perplexed by his necessity to go back and forth with the short order cook. I didn't understand wow. why he felt he needed to stop what he was doing to engage someone who was at such another level of life. Such another level of life, the short order to cook. Such another level beneath you. Say it. That's what you want to say. That's what you want to say. Go ahead and say it. When people are not living the way they hope they would live, and here you is walking in with so much freedom and, and, and luxury, people going to posture themselves a certain way. You're going to have to remove yourself from that energy and go enjoy your life. Zero accountability for anything that his son did. It's just... Hey, this guy, he's broke. He's a short order cook. He He's poor. He's living on somebody's floor. He ain't got no money like you. And he wishes that he could be you. You don't need to engage with those type of people at all. You don't, You shouldn't even be doing stuff like that. I know T.I. T.I. probably told him, you should have door dashed that order, son. I don't even know why you went up there with them broke ass people. Yo, you're a clown, dog. You are not a real man. You raised a thug. I know that's what probably hurts you the most. You, you took everything that you had, went to jail. We knew you wasn't a real man when you threw your wife up under the bus back in 2007 with that gun charge. Anyway, you took your kids out of a situation that you were in and put them in a great situation. And here you are with a child that, that wants to be you like when you were 17. That's embarrassing. You're, you're an embarrassment, dog. Point is, regardless of that situation, that situation, man, is very remedial when it comes to the real meat and potatoes <laughs> of the discussion. What's the meat and potatoes? Why in the hell is it more newsworthy to report that this man got into an argument with a fucking short order cook and less important to speak about the fact that he graduated with honors on the a and b honor roll at 17 because he's a thug your son is a thug that's what he want to be he showed you he want to be a thug that's why it's more important ti don't nobody care about him graduating and, and 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 mind you that's that's what the real issue is we know he's not a thug you telling us yourself he's not a thug he graduated high school at 17 on the AB and honor roll from, from Johns Creek private school where he had to wear uniforms and stuff like that. Be polite. We we saw him hold the door four times, but he wants to be a thug. So that's what that's what type of press he's going to get, T.I. He wants to be a thug. We're going to treat him like a thug. And I know what type of connotation thug and criminal puts out there, but that's what your son wants to be. What world we're living in, well, this is what we rather promote. Because whether you know it or not, you not only are you promoting it, you not just kind of like putting it out there for my son and like, you know. I don't even know where he's trying to go with these takes, to be quite honest with you. What are you talking about, dog? Your, your son is a is a, is a a wannabe gangster. Now, and, and the crazy thing is, hey, if this is a one-off situation, then we can say, hey, you know, maybe he had a slip up. But this is a couple years ago at the school, the same private school behind the gates with the big fancy cars and everything. And his son gets into an altercation in which he's about to pull out a gun. From here. Yeah, from here. Yeah, from here. All right, so it's not even for me now nah, let me let me be corrected because i did somebody had to correct me it, it's not that he's at the school he's he's out somewhere but this is a, a gated area or whatever he has followers he has fans they come up to him they want to put their arms around him take pictures your response is to go get the book bag you know what you know what you want to portray when you go get the book bag and you know people got their cameras out. You're T.I.'s son. People want to take pictures with you. Politely decline. I know people can be pressy, but to go get the book bag? Only thing I can say is this guy is a straight up thug. King is a straight up thug. Period. Point blank. End of discussion. Then T.I., a joke of a father, wants to act like things are all nonchalant and cool. And the craziest thing about it is you went so hard on your daughter Deja that she's come out several times in tweets about how bad it was to live in that household and how nasty it was and people criticized her and things of that nature, but we could see the products that come after him or after her. And this isn't even the second time. This is, okay, those are two isolated incidents, Omar. What about this time when T.I. catches his own son disrespecting him in front of him? And even T.I. can admit that this is disrespectful. When his own son was smoking weed at a family event on Instagram Live putting on for show. I come out here, I'm having a nice family time, and I come out here and look at see, look what I see. 
Man, what is you doing, bro? Right there. Right there. That's him listening to music, sparking up, smoking a blunt. In front of T.I., in the, in the jacuzzi at the little house that they're at, the little log cabin. He don't care. He don't care. He, wa he wants to give off that image, T.I. But you knew this. This video was from when he was like 14 or 15. So he's been smoking weed since he was 14, 15. Doesn't even care to hide it from his parents. He's doing it in front of you because he don't respect you. Why? Because you're not you're not a respectable guy. You don't breed respect in your house. You don't warrant respect in your house. You're a joke. Kick your ass, man. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nigga down here sitting in the goddamn jacuzzi. I don't know what he doing, man. Look like he. What is he doing? Waiting on for the grill, man. I'm saying. And they go. That's probably one of his man. uncles laughing it off. Did it, it, what it come to? Man, what the hell? Go look at your son. Go look at your son. What's funny to me about this whole situation right here, this this incident right here, is that Ti instead of going down to discipline his son, just like his son gets on Instagram Live to tell his fans, look at what my son is doing. Everything is a show to you everything is a game your son is disrespecting you in a cabin log house that you purchased for them to enjoy whatever break or whatever that they got and here he is smoking weed in front of everybody his mama in the house his daddy in the house sound like his uncles is in the house or whatever the case may be he over here smoking weed in front of everybody because he don't care and that's the type of environment you breathe why you being hard on your daughter talking about she need to get her hymen checked and all this other stuff he need to be in there when she getting checked out to know if she having sex your son is disrespecting respecting you over and over and over and over again and i'm being so serious when i say this he might die before he's 25 because of the way he's carrying himself you a good guy king you don't need to be doing all this who he think he is man in my damn house you know what i'm saying y'all named him king he think he the king i want to end this on this last video i i think that she's about to sum up a lot of what i had to say absolutely did see that whole thing with uh tip for tyson king acting a fucking fool because he want to be a spoiled rich boy boy key word boy boy now, I know a lot of people was expecting for T.I. to check him the right way, but I knew that wasn't going to happen. Because one, T.I. is no longer from the streets. T.I. is at a place where he's now privileged. He's rich. So, yeah, I'm not res not surprised about his response. But what I will say, T.I., you need to get your son. Because he's trying to hide behind your clout and your and you and his mama's clout. Because at the end of the day, T.I., nobody cares who you are in the streets. So if your son want to be Billy Badass, he gonna get the Billy Badass consequences. She's about to go on and say what I was gonna say. T.I., your son is the aggressor. Your son wants to be Billy Badass. Your son is gonna end up either behind bars or dead before 24. And to me, it's just that simple. And when, when things happen to a thug or a wannabe thug, am I surprised about it? No. I go on about my day. I don't get surprised when the sun rises. It was supposed to happen. When King ends up behind bars or dead, I'm not going to be surprised. That's what you want to portray out there. So now that's what we're saying. You a thug and your father enabled that behavior. It is what it is.